ยกันเชิญท่านเข้าสู่ปรับพิธีนะครับระวังเท้าของตัวเองด้วยนะครับระวังเท้านะครับของประกูนาอย่าแตะต้องลากเชิญรถเด็ดขาดเพราะจะทําให้เจ้าหน้าที่เสียจังหวะนะครับทางนี้เพื่อความปลอดภัยของตัวIn Chiang Mai, as our president of the ceremony today, Your Excellency, distinguished guests, delegates, ladies and gentlemen, please join me to welcome His Excellency, Mr. k i s n a c h a i t a n y a ขอเสียงปรบมือดังๆให้กับท่านคงสุลกิสนาชัยตัญญาด้วยครับ Thank you very much, His Excellency. Next, I would like to. Ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to invite His Excellency Mr. k i s n a c h a i t a n y a to light up the holy lamp for opening ceremony. ขณะนี้นะครับท่านกงสุลนะครับให้เกียรติเป็นประธานเปิดงานนะครับจุดประทีปนะครับก็จะเป็นลักษณะของการเปิดงานอย่างเป็นทางการสไตล์อินเดียนะครับสไตล์อินเดียนะครับ
from pure and your pure. Butter, honey, sugar, the mixture of milk, yogurt, butter, honey, and sugar. Chandra water, cumin water, kumkum water, sindhul water, instant water, water with flour, water with wild flour, water with tofu, coconut juice, and the water from Chandra River to Lord Ganesh. Welcome to 2023 uh, Ganesh Chaturthi, uh, the celebration that welcomes uh, and celebrates Ganesh coming to this earthly plane. This week has been a long ceremony at many places within uh, Hindu respecting uh, places as well as Buddhist uh, respecting places. If you come out of Chiang Mai, just an hour outside of Chiang Mai, less than an hour, it's a straight road down to San Paton and this uh, Ganesh Museum, it's free to enter and you can walk around and enjoy some of the history in the little museum places that are here. Uh, you can buy uh, lots of statues and lots of paraphernalia here for uh, Ganesh and all sorts of other things relating to the Hindu faith. Now, why am I talking in Thailand about a celebration going on in Thailand, Chiang Mai, all about Ganesh and Hinduism? 
Well, Hinduism goes back, sorry, Buddhism goes back to Hinduism. Many Buddhist traits originate from people who believed in Hindu uh, thousands of years ago. And in recent videos, I've been tripping across the uh, Chiang Mai Chronicle, the book that uh, actually compiles all the manuscripts from the hundreds of years and all the events of important kings and people over the years. And in that, it talks about the, uh, the ancestor of King Meng Rai, the founder of Chiang Mai. You know, his ancestor coming down a silver staircase from the clouds, from the heavens, as directed by the gods of Jambu. And Jambu is South Asian continent. I want to say a big thank you to the many uh, hundreds of subscribers that I have in India or people who have uh, followed uh, the particular Hindu-based uh, videos that I do. The Buddhism is very, very close to people here in Thailand, but so is Hinduism. And I just love the fact that it's intertwined and it's here and you can appreciate it. And you don't have to be uh, belonging to just one, fa one faith, one belief, one thought about what this is. It's a way of life. It's a way of believing how things are and how one is and what we feel about our lives. India is a centre for Hinduism and people in H India respect Ganesh as part of their lives. Well, many people outside the country of Thailand will be quite shocked to hear, to understand that Ganesh is highly respected in Thailand and indeed many people's homes have uh, places, they, they uh, have their statues of Ganesh, uh, Pavati and other deities that on a daily basis uh, they pray to, that they uh, offer uh, food, offer sweetness, light candles and uh, burn incense. Coming from a Western perspective as I do, uh, I lived uh, half of my life in, uh, in, in England, in the UK. Many people go about their lives with either they're atheist or they're a follower of a religion, a religion, and it's just one religion. They're either Jewish, uh, Muslim, Christian, Roman Catholic, Anglican, uh, Mormon, they're only one. But unfortunately, for people in the Western culture, it, it will be difficult for you to understand uh, uh, that here in Thailand and in Asia, it, it's not that way at all. It's common for people of Asia to uh, believe and welcome into their lives deities from many forms of uh, belief across the thousands of years. And it, 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 that actually rolls out to many aspects of one's life here. Life here in Thailand is a lot simpler a lot easier, it's a lot happier because it's not black or white, it's the colours of the rainbow. And I'm not drawing um, a comparison to LGBT, I'm not drawing comparisons to black and white with uh, a racial aspect, I'm drawing a comparison to the variety, the rainbow of belief and that is possible here in Thailand. I love it.
this year it was a little bit different to last year, so it's always worth coming along to see the birthday of uh, Ganesh. Uh, I always stumble when I say Ganesh because uh, in, here in Thailand we uh, re we refer to Ganesh as Pat Ganesh, and people outside of Thailand don't refer to as Ganesh as Papi Ganesh. So forgive me. It's worth coming every year to see this fantastic parade and the ceremony. Uh, you can come on the days before and see other uh, ceremonies going on as well. The devotion here is really, really uh, uh, visible to anybody that comes. People are so uh, pleased to have uh, Ganesh in their life. In our home, uh, we have a section of our home dedicated to Ganesh, and we have a little statue of Pavati uh, and uh, Vishnu, and also uh, Ganesh in various guises. We have coloured lights, we have uh, coloured cloths, and every day we give uh, fruit of some sort and we offer it to the deities. We offer it and uh, make a blessing, make a, a prayer. We, 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 we light incense and we light candles and, you know, we, we, we offer sweet things, sweet drinks. Well, thank you so much for following along with this video today. Uh, hopefully uh, you have enjoyed it as much as I have uh, been enjoying it here. Uh, I've not said as much in this video as I have in previous videos because I've wanted to show you more. Uh, I didn't want to interrupt uh, what, was, what you were able to hear and what you were able to see with me rabbiting on about something quite uh, insignificant. It's a beautiful ceremony, uh, the birthday, the welcoming to this earthly plane of Ganesh. Uh, this particular week is celebrated every year, so next year uh, there will be another celebration at this time of year. Uh, put it in diary, it's something that uh, if you're in Chiang Mai or anywhere around the world, find a following of Ganesh find a Hindu uh, community and just, just enjoy it and just participate in it and, and, and appreciate there is a lot of love for Ganesh, a lot of love for the ceremony of uh, his birthday. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Take care. See you. Bye-bye.